will stop the corruption under the gold dome, and we will make damn sure that the woke left will never get control in our beloved state of Georgia. Good evening, I'm Joe Ripley. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. There was plenty of buildup for tonight's rally in commerce to drum up support for gubernatorial candidate David Perdue, who you just heard from there. The anticipation for the event's main speaker took a bit longer than planned. Arriving more than an hour later than the originally scheduled 7 p.m. start time, former President Donald Trump finally made his entrance at the Banks County Dragway. Trump backing Perdue with the GOP primary coming up on May 24th and hopes he can knock off incumbent Governor Brian Kemp. Tonight, Trump touted all of his personally backed candidates, including Herschel Walker for Senate. Trump also threw out false claims that the 2020 election was stolen and called Kemp, quote, a turncoat. If there's one thing the people of Georgia need to know about this race, it's that Brian Kemp, he sold you out. He didn't look. He didn't want to look. He didn't want anything to do with it. He didn't want anything to do with it. Kemp, has repeatedly caved to Stacey Abrams. I think he's afraid of her. Why is he afraid of her? The hell is there to be afraid of? But he bent to Stacey Abrams. I don't think he bent to Joe Biden. I don't think Joe Biden knows what the hell's happening. Other Republicans vying for office got to share the stage and spotlight with former President Trump. 11 Alive's Don White tonight has more from the rally in commerce, including how Trump's influence could be seen in several competitive campaigns here in the Peach State. This is my ninth rally. I want to see America free going down the wrong path and we need to cut, bring it back. I happen to think that Georgia is a very red state. I think it's red as well. Former President Donald Trump criticized the economy and war in Ukraine since he left office at this rally. Suddenly Americans cannot afford to buy their groceries. They cannot afford to heat their homes. They cannot afford to fill their cars. Thousands of people packed the Banks County dragway to listen to the former president. My grandson is with me. And uh, I wanted him to experience what it was like to go to a political rally and to start learning some more about the way our government functions. Many people may be wondering why Trump is endorsing David Perdue for governor in the Republican primary. Former President Trump is still very upset that Brian Kemp and Brad Raffensperger uh, didn't try to decertify the election results. Um, and it seems as though he blames them. Uh, for his election loss in Georgia. So he is endorsing people who have clearly sided with him and against Kemp. We asked 11 Alive political analyst Andre Gillespie if Trump's endorsement matters. The big question is, is whether or not Brian Kemp is really that weak. He has incumbency. He's got strong supports. Despite what Donald Trump says, he's not a Republican in name only. One thing that limits Trump's rhetoric and its effectiveness in this rally on Saturday is that voters in Georgia know Brian Kemp. They've already formed their opinions of him. Georgia's primary election is on May 24th. Gillespie says it made sense to hold the rally in Banks County since it's a Republican stronghold. In Commerce, I'm Dawn White, 11 Alive News. The Democratic Party of Georgia put out this statement ahead of former President Trump's visit to Georgia, referring to Purdue as Trump's, quote, New Georgia Peach. 11 Alive has heard back from Brian Kemp's campaign, but the one sentence reply neither mentioned Trump nor Purdue. 